all right so uh speaking of laundry list uh, if you were to bring uh, if you were to, to bring the te te textbook where would you f look for stuff like that uh, and because this question deals with the other government agencies it would be in uh, the other government agency chapter uh, we call it the participating government agencies um, chapter 34 volume 1 I have made an update to the chapter in light of this particular question so let me uh, drop you the link so you guys can have a benefit of the updated outline as well uh, so what's going on with this one uh, of course uh, we, we, we speak of um, partner government agencies uh, as this guy which we just discussed right uh, but there is also many others uh, and uh, this particular chapter compil uh, includes a compilation of questions uh, that uh, would would deal with various other agencies in the context of CBP enforcement as it shows up on a customs license broker exam so first one uh, comes as a that comes as the agriculture department uh, and how they ask a question in the uh, case of uh, ag ag agricultural products in this case seeds then you have uh, this new added provision in light of uh, the last question uh, which talks about the TTB provision. So we have a laundry list of items uh, and uh, we have a question. Uh, the next one, so so the, the question, the next one is EPA, Environmental Protection Agency. And EPA is broken down by various laws that they enforce. One is the uh, the uh, Intensicide, Fungicide and uh, Rodenticide Act which deals with the control of chemicals that uh, deal that are targeted at insects and uh, another one is directed at the clean air act so let's say if you want to bring the vehicle if you want to import the vehicle you have to comply with clean air act laws so uh, that's that's a breakdown for epa and uh, last but not least you, you have Office of Foreign Assets and Controls. Uh, I think this one gaining more popularity in light of recent events. Um, all you have to do is uh, turn on TV uh, or any news channel. Uh, on the front lines, uh, front lines you will see the uh, dispute uh, and uh, uh, very tough language of uh, the Biden administration toward the conflict which is uh, unraveling as we speak uh, in uh, the country of Ukraine and uh, um, and in fact uh, I think that this particular provision uh, will become ever more important on a customs bro license broker exam because uh, this is something which customs enforces under the uh, that section one uh, the section two uh, 12150. The most recent example of this uh, would be uh, this particular message that uh, came from customs just, uh, let's see, on 3.9. So right now it's 3.10. So it came out yesterday. All right. So uh, Office of Foreign Assets uh, and uh, Controls and Control issued uh, 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 a license. Uh, authorizing certain transaction from Russia uh, with respect to petroleum imports and the general license uh, to directs uh, uh, this particular cargo me messaging system service directs to say all right because it's the date driven any oil imports from Russia uh, must be uh, provided with a contract otherwise it will be denied entry uh, because uh, of uh, uh, the economic san uh, the, well in this case economic sanctions right uh, that under, under which uh, this particular import prohibition took place so 
as it becomes more relevant, uh, I think this will um, this is expected to show up more and more frequently. Uh, those folks that are not signed up for cargo messaging service, uh, I highly encourage you to subscribe to it because uh, so this is an email address here. Um, I'm also providing uh, the link uh, and uh, uh, this uh, is kind of like the email update uh, stuff. Let me see. I think, yeah, okay, I send it. All right, so so I highly recommend to subscribe because it kind of, it, it's, it's a pulse of CBP as an agency, how it deals with stuff uh, on day-to-day -day basis, uh, what, what is going on. It can be relatively technical, relatively uh, not technical and broad, such as the policy uh, to implement the um, uh, ban on oil imports, for example, and how it is implemented. Uh, it's just good. Pro if, if you read it, you have a pretty good idea of the day-to-day -day functioning of the agency itself, of the CBP, uh, which will ease your life a lot uh, and uh, uh, make, make you an even better librarian, right, to come. <laughs> so, so that's my recommendation if you can. All right, so that's all I wanted to say about uh, this exotic tobacco question.